This is our weld handle. It comes with a four inch electrode that mounts to the handle. When you mount it to the handle, be sure to tighten it snugly to the copper part. At the top of the handle is the wiggle wire attachment. You simply place the wiggle wire in between the wedge and pull the trigger. It's also the shrinking tip. It also comes with a bear claw for pulling the wiggle wire and a lever puller for pulling with the four inch electrode. We also have a pulling package which includes a longer electrode, slide hammer, key electrode, as well as keys, twisted and straight. So let's talk a little bit about panel prep. You do not want to use 36 grit grinder to grind the, the uh, paint off to uh, expose the bare metal. What you want to use is a scotch Bright type disc. The red scotch Brights seem to work the best or the equivalent in another brand. Uh, and you also want to remove all the galvanize as well. Not just the paint and the primer, but all the galvanize. You want to be pulling on bare metal. Uh, it's just like welding anything else. If you're trying to weld through paint and galvanize, you're going to have difficulty. So let's talk about powering up the unit. The unit comes with a 20 foot cord, 12 gauge. Get the vehicle as close to the nearest outlet as possible. The use of extension cords is discouraged, particularly 100 foot per, uh, orange extension cords. If you need to use an extension cord, use a 12 gauge extension cord and the shortest possible cord you can use. When using the uh, weld handle, make sure your electrode is sharpened like a pencil, not like a crayon as attached to the drill. The uh, dull electrode will not stick nearly as well as a sharp electrode. It will also give you a shorter amount of working time. If you need to sharpen your electrode, simply install it in a drill, spin the drill, and take a grinder and grind the shape back in to the shape of a pencil. Very simple. More on this later. The settings for use when welding would typically be one for general welding dent pulling the electrode, between three to four when doing wiggle wire or keys, and up to eight when doing shrinking. Uh, you can also shrink it two and one. It's your preference. But one is the best setting to use when welding for pulling dents. There's a big misconception as far as turning up the time, the weld time, to get a better weld. And that's just not the case. So we're going to come in here, room one. This is a Chevy truck fender. Welded to it. I got the lever puller on there, and it gets more than enough pull. Obviously, the lever puller puts a lot of pressure on that dent. More than enough. You do not need to turn it up as one for dent pulling. Now, what happens when you turn it up more than 10? or more than one I should say, is you wind up doing damage to the tip. So right now, the tip is still about a millimeter across. That's perfect. You can pull all day like that. And you've got no heat buildup in the tip as well. Let's turn it up to 10 and see what happens to the tip. Okay, it, it did stick. He could have pulled, but now that tip is worn out. That tip is not going to stick very well after this. Let's do a couple more like that. And look at the burn mark you get. So let's do a couple more. Let's now pull. It's on there. I'm not going to get a whole lot more pulls, and that tip is going to get super, super hot.
Okay, so when he's welding, all he's doing is touching. But you can see that tip is getting shorter and shorter, and you're going to burn through that electrode in no time. Okay, now he's going to push. And it didn't stick. And it didn't stick. And it did stick a little. You just want to touch the metal and pull the trigger. You do not want to push on the handle. So let's take a look at these welds. All these welds here, you can barely see a burn on the metal. These were all done at one. You can tell the dent is pulled actually high right now. These ones got so hot and the metal actually sank in. And you can see he did weld to it, it did connect. This one here, he was pushing hard. There's no connection there at all on either of those. Uh, you've also got quite a significant burn through on the back side where there's little to none right here. Okay, so we're gonna touch down, we're gonna weld and pull straight without wiggling the handle, without turning the handle. Now he's breaking it off. If you have a tendency to weld and then move the handle around as you're pulling, you're going to wind up breaking it off. Every movement of the handle breaks the weld loose. Not good. We're going to weld some wiggle wire. So we adjusted the welder up to the timer of four. And we put an arc in the wiggle wire. And what this arc will do is make it so that only one of the wiggles is touching. So every time one is welded, the next one will fall into place. You can see when this one is welded, the next one falls in place. He's got a little pressure on the end of the wire. So every time it welds, you can see it move down just a little bit. This is the best way to use the wiggle wire. Now the wiggle wire is just tacked on. So when you're pulling with the bear claw, you don't want to use a hard jerking motion with a slide hammer. You want to use a um, nylon ratchet strap works the best. Some sort of slow pull method. So the key electrode can be used with the straight or twisted keys, and the keys are reusable. So simply slide the key in, make sure you have a nice clean surface to weld to. Weld them on. Now the keys are very similar to the standard electrode. The more you wiggle them, the more they break loose. So. They come off really easily. They're meant to be pulled using a slow pull method, like with a ratchet strap, not with a slide hammer. Strong pull. Get them close together.